Here's how to create a creepy looking video in the Shotcut Free Video Editor, just like the one that's playing right now. This video focuses on visual effects. Later in the video I'll reveal two other things you might want to try to make your videos extra creepy. So I'm in the Shotcut Editor and I've just added a few clips into the playlist here. I'll use those to start making my spooky horror movie. So I've dragged down a couple of clips here into the timeline. And we can see now they play OK here. So the first thing we can do is to play around with the filters. You click on here and make sure that the clip you want to modify is selected so it has a red outline here. So making sure filters is selected, you need to click on the plus sign and then the first one we'll select is color grading. If it's not in your favorites, then you might have to search for it. There are quite a lot of them now. So we'll click on color grading. So I actually shot this footage back in 2008 on a really old camcorder. So it already looks kind of spooky. But what we can do with color grading is really make it look a lot more spooky. So I would say that if you change it to like more of a bluish tinge, then that looks a bit more spooky. You can also play around with this. The other good thing about color grading is that if you've shot several clips, then you can match the colors to make it look uh, more of a complete movie. So now we've made it blue, it does look quite a bit more spooky. So if you're using a modern camera like I did to shoot this one, then you'll definitely need to play around with the colors. Increase the blues, it looks colder, and I think that looks a bit more sinister. So definitely you want to check out color grading because that is a really good way to make movies look slightly more spooky. So when I first started using Shotcut, I didn't realize it had so many really useful filters, and many of them can be used to make a movie look really creepy and spooky. So again, we'll be in the filters part here, and then click on plus and you need to click on video and scroll down. There are a whole list of them here. So I've marked many of the really good ones as my favorites. So one thing I like is glitch. So we'll add glitch to this one. And now play it. So Glitch does this effect here. It's probably best not to overuse it, but I normally tend to use it for brief seconds. It just looks like the picture is glitching and can be quite spooky. So that one's called Glitch. So Vertigo makes it look like the viewer has blurred vision. And in certain circumstances, it can be really useful filter. I think Vertigo looks particularly good with people's faces. For example, here's a creepy doll in a tree. With the Vertigo filter applied, it looks particularly creepy and unsettling. The old film filters are quite good as well. There's three of them here, Projector, Scratches and Technocolor. Incidentally, you can just click on the star here to add them to your favorites. That makes it much easier to find them if you're going to reuse them. So let's do old film projector. So this gives it the impression that you're viewing a movie on an old movie projector. It's kind of useful if you're shooting one of those found footage things like the Blair Witch Project. If you add on old film scratches, then it will look much the same, but you'll see that there are scratches appearing. That makes it look a bit more authentic. Finally, we'll add Techno Color. You could use this just on its own. It just makes the movie look like it was shot in the 1960s. So now it's definitely looking like this was uh, found footage from a 1980s horror movie. Another useful effect is scan lines. This mimics the effect of watching the movie on an old television. One thing I warn you is that this effect isn't actually very noticeable depending on how big the preview screen is here. So you can drag this line here to make the preview smaller. Now our effect is much more noticeable. 
Incidentally, once you make the final movie, the effect seems to be more or less noticeable according to how big the preview window is as well. I'm not sure how that's possible. But see, as you make the window different size, the bands go bigger. So why that is, I'm not sure. I have actually used the effect to make long YouTube videos and it does look okay if you play them back full screen, so don't worry too much about that. There's a really neat trick you can use with scan lines and if I go to the timeline here and click this hamburger icon here and go to track operations, add video track. I'll make this smaller so I can see both tracks. So now if I put this track up here and I'll choose an image to put below it. So I'll put an image below it here. So with scan lines you can put an image or another video clip below the actual main video clip. This gives it a really spooky appearance. So for best effects it's probably best to make it shorter so that the viewer only sees it very briefly. Another filter that's pretty good is one called Choppy. So I'll just play the regular movie. And now I'll put the Choppy filter on, which is here. So now the footage looks really juddery. Depending on your actual footage, this could be quite effective. You can change the settings here. Earlier in the video I showed a demonstration of the vertigo filter. There's lots of blur filters as well which can also be quite useful. So I like Gaussian blurs so I'll try that one on. So now the footage is blurred. This may be also very useful in certain circumstances. Another one I like but I haven't used yet is called Glow. I've applied it here so you can see now that the footage is glowing. Kind of looks like the fallout from a nuclear holocaust. There are many more filters, although I think I have highlighted the best ones really for spooky video making. If you discover any other ones that are really good, then do please drop a comment below and I'll try and use them if I make another creepy video. Incidentally, if you hold your mouse over the name, then you get a preview down below. So here's the wiggle one, dithering one and a fisheye effect. So it's really useful that you can preview them. Some are better than others. At the start of the video I mentioned one factor that is crucially important to make videos look a lot more creepy and spooky. Have you guessed what it is? So you notice I've been running the track but if I unmute it then you'll notice the music I would definitely say that the most important thing to add in Shotcut if you're making spooky movies is to add some spooky music. This is actually a music box so the sound is actually coming from the music box itself but you can easily add spooky music and sound effects to your video to make it a lot more spooky. If you're using the YouTube Creator Studio then you'll find there's lots of royalty free music tracks that you can use. There's quite a few good spooky tracks there. It also has a lot of sound effects, so applying sound effects to things can be quite useful. I'll split this track up. So here, I'll put a split here, and I'll put a split here. So you can go to filters, and then this time we'll use audio. So in audio, you need to look for pitch. So we'll apply a pitch filter here. So in this filter, we'll change the octave shift and move it down slightly. You don't need to do it by very much. So now let's play. So you'll notice that the when the octave went down, it did sound a bit more unsettling. So you can play around with the filters here and change your soundtrack to make it even more unsettling. Again, if you find any really nice filters to help you make creepypasta and spooky videos, then do leave a comment below and let us know what your favorite filters are. Thanks for watching.